Um, the latest boom in blockchain technology is in no small part due to DeFi. And from that, one can like draw this large like awesomeness in the ecosystem is about permissionlessness and composability. So, you know, every project can talk to every other project in any way that they want. Um, and so one large concern with all of these new chains and all these new layers that are coming out is that we kind of lose and break that composability. I mean, not within the Polkadot ecosystem, obviously, specifically, you guys have been listening to a lot of talks on that. Um, but with all these other chains and all these other bridges, it kind of gets pretty hard. So um, quite curious about uh, Theron's approach to this and please welcome Masiaj um, to talk about it. Please take it away. Thank you so much, Kendi, for your introduction, Jesse. Uh, hello to everyone. It's, it's been a great conference so far. It's my uh, great pleasure to be here today. And yeah, exactly. Today I would like to talk about the project we built with Substrate. It's uh, essentially a hosting platform for composable smart contracts, as we like to think of it, that is meant to create uh, a secure multi-chain environment to compose the collaboration on two multi-chains. Uh, and that's the technical aspect behind it. There is also an ideological twist within the product itself. And it comes from the idea to remunerate developers for the original open source code that they produce. Because as we see it happening now, open source developers, they usually come to the projects, make the initial contribution, uh, sometimes getting paid for it, sometimes not. But then they do not participate in the financial gaze of the, of the uh, uh, product that is being then able to monetize, monetize their, uh, their code. So, if those ideas sound interesting to you, but unfortunately you don't have time to follow and stick on this call until the end, you're very much welcome to follow our work on GitHub, on Twitter, and just follow our blog posts on, uh, on the main website. So there is three key aspects to term. There is a composability of smart contracts that uh, we would like to introduce. There is a hosting, uh, which is an on-chain repository where we would like to store those smart contracts and then as mentioned store them also in a way to uh, have the possibility to renumerate original authors that distributed their code and there is also an inclusive interoperable aspect where we tailor the protocol to interconnect multiple consensus uh, cons consensus system and provide this one heterogeneous platform uh, upon which they can all communicate Composability in general is about connecting uh, outputs and, and the uh, business logic pieces all together within one distributed transaction. And it's demonstrated to be a very powerful design on, uh, on the last years utilizing DeFi blocks on, on Ethereum. And on the example we see here, uh, there is a, uh, there is a aggregated transaction that bundles together the composable DeFi blocks on Ethereum where it's possible to, uh, let's say, swap the coins first, then uh, those swapped coins feed into a, uh, into a liquidity, get the stake tokens and deposit those stake tokens in order to, to get some additional AP, uh, APY. It works, uh, it works very nicely on, on Ethereum since uh, Solidity comes with default, comes by default with a composable aspect, meaning that in case, let's say in the second step, the uh, execution will be broken. Let's say we run out of gas during the uh, feeding liquidity uh, into, into one of these smart contracts. The previous changes, so the swap in this example, will be automatically rolled back. And that's the behavior that is very much expected when it comes to composing. Uh, solutions in general, not only not only on Ethereum. So what essentially we're doing with Turn, we bring the example that we just saw on the previous slide, and we shift it from the single Ethereum ledger to the multi-chain ledger. And additionally to that, we are generalizing smart contracts and uh, making the platform where messages can be exchanged and the input essentially can be provided to and between 
not only smart contracts, but also runtime modules like pallets on substrate, or also oracleized public APIs, which also could be connected using their network and uh, used and composed with the uh, other smart contracts. Smart contracts would stay on, uh, on an entity that we call uh, hosting. And uh, what, it, what it means is that the uh, developers would be given a chance to simply write a single smart contract and uh, from that smart contract have an input and directly use multiple gateways uh, into other consensus, consensus system that they would create. And they would use a single smart contract uh, to do that. We think it's important not to reinvent the wheel and give developers opportunity to use the tools that they're familiar with and not introduce any particular new programming language to it. So we tailor our platform to be compatible with anything for now that compiles to WASM. But since the, model, uh, since the modules and plugging in additional pilots to, to the substrate is, is easy, it shouldn't become a problem for us to extend the solution into, into some more VMs. So after the contract has been deposited into, into the on-chain repository, every time when someone else would use that contract, if the original author specified an extra fee that they will be getting, this uh, fee, hence we are in control of what's happening with, uh, with blockchain because Substrate allows you to, to create the blockchain share from scratch and design the economics from the very early on. We are able to be, uh, be mindful about every participant, including, including developers within the system. The example here illustrates uh, connecting three native consensus systems. So we have an Oracle's price feed that would uh, fit the price into a native runtime module that is uh, positioned on Akala. And then output from that module would go into two consecutive steps that could be parallelized and submit as a batch to Ethereum. Uh, first of them will be calling a smart contract and then the other one will be just simply transferring uh, balance transfers. Uh, so I think it's important to reiterate that uh, what we see as a, as a great value in the, in the platform that we build, and that's, that's our goal, is to provide this heterogeneous platform where it's essentially easy to get an easy breakthrough to the particular consensus system so that developers would only see their one platform, their one smart contract, and wouldn't necessarily need to take care of dispatching the messages, delivering and uh, receiving the proofs uh, in a decentralized way from all of the consensus systems that they uh, connect. The Tern platform will do it for them. So to compose the execution with Tern, we also would like to propose an additional standard that we call an escrow execution and how execution uh, in the escrow uh, in the escrow sense works is uh, it basically introduces a two-step enactment when the first of all the code will be going through the initial execute phase you can think of it as a, as a computation phase and then upon receiving the correct proofs after this execution circuit will decide whether to proceed with the commit or a revert phrase. Uh, the circuit validators will take the responsibility for the time being for shifting the and signing the transactions uh, that will be then afterwards dispatched by three layers onto different consensus systems. And they are having a bonded stake, which essentially means that the overall execution is, uh, is collateralized and the simple formula that we introduce for execution is to have an insurance over each transaction that we'll be executing, which is a two times of a transaction worth where the worth is aggregated fees on all of the connected chains and uh, aggregated values. Circuit is, is a blockchain uh, and circuit, circuit is for us, a technical realization of, uh, of interoperability. 
So as a blockchain network, it's being created in a substrate and it will become a, a parachain. And this is important from the security standpoint because since we are facilitating a connection between multiple different chain, we also want to be considered secure and not to be considered a, a weak link in that connection. Uh, what circuit does from the functional standpoint is uh, it literally dictates the execution protocol between all of the other connected members throughout this execution. And it's also uh, keeps all of the data involved in the execution, including the on-chain contracts. On the uh, receiving end of that execution, we have gateways. And gateway, gateways is an abstraction of a standard for us of, uh, of adapter for any consensus system that is able to, to follow for our protocol. And that is also tailored in our solution to be done in a, in a pretty much flexible way. For now, we can think of three types of, uh, of a gateway. It could, be, uh, it could be a gateway that is either a, a pallet or some other runtime module on, on the receiving end. Uh, then we call it as a, uh, and we call it programmable internal gateway. When it comes to the receiving end being a smart contract, we call it a programmable external. And we also, if we don't have any, uh, any above, if we don't have access to any above of those, those two methods, like we will have to do, for example, in the case of connecting with Bitcoin, we will have to then fall back into delegating the trust, trustlessness of the execution back to the uh, original network of, of ours, uh, to the third network. And the, the system is, is literally meant to be pretty much uh, extensible and it should be, uh, you don't have to integrate implementing all of the protocol at once. And we are assuming that there will be a, a constant progression in adding the more, more parts and adding the more um, protocol that is being supported by the consensus mechanism that is being connected with a gateway. Uh, how is the development milestones progressing is that uh, for the previous year, for the previous year, we've been funded by a Web3 Foundation and uh, we, we had delivered the gateways as, as, uh, as substrate pilot modules that were connected via a demonstration script, which now during this milestone uh, is being replaced by the prototype. Our first circle prototype should be uh, ready the coming weeks. And then after the first initial prototype is ready, where we see it being, uh, being able to integrate with, with the substrate based nodes, we'll be expanding onto connections into Ethereum and making a full compatibility with Ethereum as well. And then the third and the last milestone for this year, which is also has been planned out as, uh, alongside with uh, such a this program that we're uh, very pleased to be a, to a participant as well, is shipping that protocol that has been implemented but is uh, mm, working on a proof of authority based is to bring it into a full trust as proof of stake solution and open the system so that the uh, any validators who would like to participate uh, can can join the, the system. Uh, the first milestone will be will be finalized for now. We um, we think in June, and it comes with two main features. The first feature is an auto discovery of the new subject chains, where just upon giving a single URL, the network will automatically fetch the uh, fetch metadata and be able to discover what exactly dispatches and NPC call are able to be reached on that specific network. And then the feature B is literally we are uh, providing this first platform to start programming on top of the subject based chains uh, where you can reach those mentioned endpoints. We believe in the trust free collaboration and that's essentially why we're building the 
decentralized and community-driven protocol for smart contracts, where original developers could also share in the financial success of businesses uh, and they can grow together. Uh, thank you so much. And if you would like to join our journey, uh, we would love to welcome you into, into our community or perhaps if you also are considering joining a, a team, we would also be, be very happy to, to welcome you if you're able to, to help us build out the, uh, the product. And thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much for the talk. That was amazing to listen to. Um, so just you know, one question while um, you're still here is, uh, and I've been asking a lot of the guests this, and it's always been interesting to hear their answers, but um, you know, what have you like enjoyed about developing on Substrate so far? You know, complaints, awesomeness, good, bad, everything, and anything new for new Substrate developers to get into? Sure. So the <laughs> Substrate, I think, falls into, and programming on Substrate falls into, into the single on the path you can follow as a developer, which is a constant improvement and the constant uh, <clears throat> constant development. And Substrate evolves very rapidly. And as a fresh developer joining, I think this could stand out as a uh, as a shocking news that it's really all like all of the pieces are, are moving together and you essentially have more and more tools that you can use. Uh, so as a, as a new joiner to the Substrate, uh, as a new, a uh, new joiner as a substrate developer. That's essentially something that uh, is, is pretty much striking in the beginning that you can't just simply leave your project and move to, to another phase. That it's essentially, uh, you need to take care of, of constant evolving and, the, uh, and, and move back to the, to the parts and uh, constantly think of how to upgrade them with the, uh, with the latest tools. Uh, and it also comes with a, with a great power because there is just so many, so many modules that you can plug in. It's actually been a pretty, pretty interesting time for me, uh, being in the in the blockchain space uh, and just listening to all of those ideas now being sort of implemented and they're ready to use as a substrate module. That's a that's a very powerful tools that the developers are given and uh, yeah, that's that's actually been a, a great journey for us and I'm pretty sure like any. Any other person interested would also find it very, very attractive. Awesome. Thank you so much. And again, a great presentation.